So with these three problems in mind, SBI Life started to analyze and find a solution which makes the life of customers as well as the operators easy. And that's where they came up with this concept of in friends today we are trying something different because for the very first time we will be talking about a real business case study of SBI life insurance and how SBI life insurance transformed its customer support operations using AI and generative AI because I believe that we have come to a point where we need to look into the how part of these things how technology is actually making things change and making things work for businesses across the world and SBI life insurance is one of the ma major insurance provider across the globe so what was the challenges what what issues SBI life was facing and how a simple solution using cloud AI and generative AI transformed the whole customer experience we'll understand that in this video so if you watch this video till the very end you will not only understand the problem statements what the customers and the employees of SBL life was facing but you will also understand the technical architecture of cloud and generative AI and how this whole solution was actually deployed and how it is working as of today so we'll draw it out on the board so stay till the end and I'm pretty sure we'll understand something useful. So without further ado, let's get started. So this whole transformation of SBI live customer operations started with a particular incident. One time a customer called SBI live customer support to inquire about a particular policy he purchased years back. But the operator realized that that particular policy had already elapsed 10 years ago uh, without customer realizing it. And he wanted specific information about that particular policy. So SBI Life soon realized that this particular problem is with all or most of their customers where operators find difficulty in finding the relevant information at the right time and the result of that is there's a long wait time for the customers which makes the customers frustrated and lastly if they are hiring new trainees new operators into the team it takes a lot of time for them to get trained onto so many different policies and procedures and documents they have to go through all of that and it takes a lot of time so with these three problems in mind SBI life started to analyze and find a solution which makes the life of customers as well as the operators easy and that's where they came up with this concept of intelligent operations where they wanted to leverage cloud they wanted to leverage AI they wanted to introduce automation so now let's understand how they actually did it and we will understand it step by step okay so we'll draw it out and we'll understand what components they use to define this whole solution which made the life of the customers and operators easy. So here's how SBI Life solved its problem using intelligent document search. So let's take an example. Suppose a customer calls SBI Life operator to inquire about a lapsed policy. Now this whole solution which is now uh, deployed and working for SBI Life has been deployed on AWS cloud. By the way guys, if you are new to cloud, specifically on AWS, you can check our course AWS for Complete Beginners. It is uh, in the pinned comment and in the description. Uh, it has uh, more than 12 modules and a lot of good content with core concepts of cloud computing and all the core services of AWS. So do check it out. So for example, the new, this whole intelligent document search application can be accessed through an EC2 instance of AWS. So the SBI Life operator will uh, log into this uh, EC2 instance through a front-end UI, for example, and then uh, they will just uh, trigger a query. For example, tell me something about this particular policy. That request will go into the API gateway and that API gateway will then forward it to a Lambda function. Lambda function will trigger an event-based uh, trigger to connect to Amazon Kendra, which is more of an enterprise search. Uh, it is also an AI solution, not uh, exactly generative AI, but it is used for enterprise search something what we do in google we type something and then google goes into its repository and do all the kind of indexing and get all the relevant document uh, in front of us multiple pages right so in that similar case uh, amazon candra will connect to an s3 repository where sbi life is stored all the agreements brochures policies regulations faqs 
plethora of petabytes of data into this particular S3 bucket. Now, when this particular query uh, goes to Kendra, Kendra will do keyword extraction and search uh, by connecting to this vast amount of data here. A real life example for to understand this could be of a librarian, okay? So that library, suppose if you go to a librarian and ask uh, uh, that particular uh, librarian that can you give me the book on blockchain? Can you give me all the books which has been published uh, on blockchain? So that particular uh, librarian will go into the library and search all the different books which has been written around this particular uh, blockchain technology and get the most relevant books to you. So that kind of a librarian is what Amazon Kendra is. It does the enterprise search, it indexes the document and give you the results. Once the results are with us, then it will be then directly uh, sent to a generative AI uh, solution. So this particular component here will get all those enterprise searches, whatever results we have, uh, you know, we have gathered from Kendra and that will be fed into the next AI product of AWS, which is Amazon Bedrock. And now this is a LLM based uh, product offering which uh, from AWS and it is based on uh, the LLM model uh, you know which is from Anthropic Cloud A. So Cloud A is the model on top of which Amazon Bedrock is uh, running but it also connects to other third party LLMs okay uh, which could be OpenAI or others I am not aware of it but majorly Amazon Bedrock is connected with uh, Cloud A uh, as a base model. So what it will do is it will take all the responses or enterprise search responses which has come and it will be fed into generative AI component and then it will summarize the whole thing. It will, you know, it will summarize everything based on the query and that's where the prompt engineering will come into picture. There will be different prompts which will be developed by the generative AI developers to, uh, you know, to respond back to this particular uh, query which has come from the operator in, a, in the most concise manner. So those summarized responses will then be sent back to Lambda and Lambda will send this back to the operator. An operator will get exactly what he or she has to say to the customer. So for example, if XYZ policy uh, would tell me something, how it can be revived, the XYZ policy which customer is inquiring. So using this enterprise search and generative AI, the response would be the step by step guide of what the customer needs to do. Customer has to first log into the portal, upload the latest ID proof. I'm just giving, I'm not an insurance guy, I don't know, but it will give all everything step by step, which previously, by the way, the operator has to do on its own. So previously the legacy system would have been, I'm imagining would have been like, there would have been one particular legacy system to do one thing, then the uh, operator will do a login here, look for all the relevant documents, then log in here, uh, look for some other documents and then apply its own brain and try to give that information and you can understand how much time it would have taken but here everything is happening in seconds or milliseconds guys okay everything is happening uh, in uh, such a fast manner so definitely now operator is getting a summarized response for the query which was asked and this is what makes it an intelligent search because we are not wasting our time looking into these long uh, PDFs and documents which are uh, lying on in our S3 bucket. So as per SBI life, the operator training time has been reduced by 30% and they are also seeing a good customer feedback. The overall response time on a particular ticket or on a particular query has significantly reduced which is obviously resulting in happy customers. The operators are finding it really easy and they're finding information really fast using this intelligent uh, document search uh, application which they, they have developed. And they're expanding it. For example, their next step uh, is that while the operator is telling something to the customer on the call, how they can transcript all that voice communication which is happening. They are building a, a solution, I think, for that, where they will be documenting everything which is being discussed, which could again be used uh, for uh, further inquiries and used as a knowledge database. So guys, yes, this is how SBI Life transformed their business. If you are interested in more such case studies, give us a like. Let us know in the comment you like this video and we will try to bring more such case studies to you. If you are interested in ChatGPT, 
वॉच द चैट जी पी टी वीडियो वेयर वी अंडरस्टूड द ट्रांसफॉर्मर मॉडल इन डेप्थ विच विल ऑल्सो लेट यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एल एल एम एक्चुअली वर्क टू सम एक्सटेंट एंड अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम कीप लर्निंग कीप शेयरिंग एंड कीप हसलिंग गाइज बाय फॉर नाउ